pioneering innovation by scientists and students at the University of Maine has caught the Fed's attention. Researchers there received a federal grant to study the recycling of wind turbine blades for use in 3D printing and the construction industry. And in today's Maine's Changing Climate Report, New Center Maine's Vivian Lee shows us how the project also looks to keep tons of waste from going into Maine landfills. According to regulators, 400 wind turbines are located throughout the state. Most have massive blades that can span the length of a football field to capture the available wind. While wind energy is one of the fastest growing sources of renewable power, turbine waste is also becoming a critical issue. Wind turbines last 20 years or more, with hundreds of blades expected to be heading to main landfills in a decade. 13,000 tons of wind turbine blade materials that are gonna to need to be managed in New England, and around 8,000 of those are gonna be in Maine alone. Professors, students, and researchers at the University of Maine may be on the brink of a solution. Wind turbine blades are, are quite hollow. They're cutting out sections of this aging wind turbine located on the grounds of UMaine's Advanced Structures and Composite Center. And this and then, is what you would be grinding up this part right here? Yeah, this, this is the material here that we're looking at. It's a mix of fibers and thermoplastics. The Department of Energy recently awarded UMaine $75,000 to boost recycling for the wind energy sector. Researchers are shredding parts of the blade, recovering the material fibers, and using them as printing fillers for large-scale 3D printing projects. Last month, the university unveiled the world's largest 3D polymer printer, four times the size of its predecessor, located inside the center. Roberto Lopez Anido, a professor of civil engineering, shows us pellets milled from recycled turbines a potential replacement for petroleum-based fibers that could be used to make precast concrete forms. Cheaper and more sustainable materials for the state's construction and marine industry. How we can avoid uh, putting them into a landfill and bring them back into a circular economy where the materials are reused. Katie Schweitzer has worked on the project as a graduate research assistant for two years. The Blue Hill native will begin a new career this fall as a structural engineer. And she says the research is paving the way for sustainable materials in the construction industry known for concrete and steel. Definitely, I think within my career time, I could see development within that sector. A new spin on the next generation of renewable materials for Maine and possibly the world. In Orono, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.